Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make some delicious chicken potato drumsticks. In case you guys want to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe we're going to need 8 drumsticks, 2 tablespoons of olive oil, Montreal chicken seasoning, garlic salt, paprika, black pepper, chopped green onions, 4 small potatoes, 1 cup of queso cotija, 2 cups of queso Oaxaca, 4 eggs, 1 cup of breadcrumbs, and 1 cup of all-purpose flour. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Okay guys, so first we're going to begin by prepping our chicken. Here I have 8 drumsticks, I already cleaned them and removed the skin. So now we're just going to pat them dry. Okay, so just make sure your chicken is nice and dry. Okay, so once we have that, now we're going to drizzle our 2 tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to be using Montreal seasoning, so I'm going to be adding about four teaspoons. Along with two teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of garlic salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and I'm also going to be adding cayenne pepper. So that's about half a teaspoon. Now we're just going to make sure our chicken is nice and coated. Okay, so once we have our chicken all nice and coated with our seasoning, now we are ready to begin cooking. Okay, so we're going to begin by cooking our potatoes. So I'm going to place them in a pot with water. And I like to keep the peel in so like that my potatoes don't absorb any water. So we're just going to set it on medium heat and allow them to cook. So while we wait for our potatoes to cook, we're going to cook our chicken as well. So like that, it gives enough time for the chicken to cool down. So I'm going to grab my griddle, set it on medium high heat and allow it to heat up. Okay, so once our kumal is nice and hot, we're going to place our chicken. And we're going to cook our chicken for about seven minutes on each side. Okay, so after five minutes, we're going to flip our chicken over. And we're going to allow that side to cook for another five minutes, and then we're going to flip it back and allow it to cook for another two minutes. Okay, so after five minutes, we're going to flip our drumsticks over again. We're going to give it two minutes. Okay, so after two minutes, we're going to flip it back. Cook it for another two minutes. And just get the size as well, in this last one. Okay, so after our drumsticks have been cooking for a total of 15 minutes, we're going to remove them from the comal, place them in a bowl. Okay, so we're just going to cover it with foil and allow our chicken to cool down. All right, guys, so after 45 minutes, we're going to check our potatoes. And they're nice and soft, so at this point, we're going to remove them from the water. And now we're just going to give it a few minutes before peeling them. Meanwhile, we can finish getting our chicken ready. Okay, so going back to our chicken, we're going to remove it from the bone. Okay, so after you remove the meat, just clean out your bone. And we're going to be using the bones to make our potato drumsticks. So we want it to be nice and clean. And you can wash them and do all of that, but for me, I just want to keep, keep them like that. So now just set it to the side and repeat the same process to all of the drumsticks. Okay, so once we have separated our drumsticks, now we're just going to chop our meat and just chop it into small pieces. Okay, so once our chicken is nice and chopped, now we are ready to mix it with the potatoes. Okay, so just peel the potatoes. Okay, so once we have our potatoes are nice and peeled, now we're going to smash them. I'm going to be using my potato press. So just press them down. Okay, so once we have our potatoes, now we are ready to mix in all of our ingredients. Okay, so we're going to add our chicken. Okay. My potatoes are going to season them with salt and black pepper. And then we're going to add our green onions. Queso cotija. And queso Oaxaca. Okay, so now we're just going to combine everything together. 
Okay, so once everything is nice and combined, now we are ready to form our potato chicken drumsticks. So we're just going to grab our mixture and just press it together. And just make sure that you divide it into even parts to make eight drumsticks. So we're going to get our drumstick, kind of form a tortita, grab the drumstick, place it in the center, and now we're just going to shape the drumstick. So just shape it. Make sure that everything is nice and tight, and now just place it on a plate with parchment paper. Okay, we're just going to repeat the same process to the rest of our drumsticks. Okay guys, so once we have our drumsticks all nice and put together, now we are ready to work on our breading station. Okay, so for our eggs, we're going to add four tablespoons of milk, and we're just going to whisk it together. Okay, so once we have our egg ready, now we're just going to set it to the side and make our flour. Okay, so in our plate, we're going to add our flour, one teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, and two teaspoons of our seasoning. And of course, you can adjust it to your taste. But now we're just going to mix it all together. Okay, and once we have that ready, we're going to set it to the side. Okay, now we're just going to grab a different plate and we're going to throw in our breadcrumbs. Or you can use panko. Okay, so once we have everything ready, now we are ready to begin dipping our drumsticks. So we're going to grab our drumstick, we're going to dip it into our flour. Just make sure that it's all nice and coated. Okay, just like that, and now we're going to dip it in the egg. And then into the breadcrumbs. Okay, so now we're going to return it to our parchment paper and repeat the same process to the rest of our drumsticks. Okay, so once we have our drumsticks all nice and coated, now we're going to freeze them for about one hour. Okay guys, so after one hour, we're now ready to fry our potato chicken drumsticks. Okay, so to fry our drumsticks, we're going to grab a small pot, we're going to set it on medium heat, and we're going to add enough oil to cover the drumstick. And to that, I'm going to add two toothpicks, just so like that it could prevent from burning the oil. Okay, as soon as the oil is ready, we're going to add our drumstick, and we're going to fry it for three minutes or until it's nice and golden. Okay, so after three minutes, our drumstick is ready, so we're just going to remove it from the oil and set it on a cooling rack. And we're just going to repeat the same process to the rest of our drumsticks. Alrighty guys, and once we're done frying all of our drumsticks, now we can get ready for the fun part. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, serving. So I'm going to be serving my chicken with a side salad and a creamy chipotle sauce, but of course you can also enjoy it by itself. So just like that, now we are ready to enjoy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try. They're seriously super fun to make and easy. And the best part is that you can add whatever you want to your filling. Um, and like I said, you can enjoy it like that by itself or with anything on the side. My kids like to enjoy it with mac and cheese. But anyway, so here you go. Cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Seriously? Super delicious. It's so flavorful. The cheese, the potato, the chicken, everything. The crunch from the breadcrumbs. It's so good. So perfect. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make some delicious chicken potato drumsticks. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you regret this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.